Welcome back to the Destiny of Peace for the Free Space Port here on Paladin Gaming. We're going into the third mission. The Terran Domestic Intelligence Agency <coughs> concluded their investigation regarding recent rebel activities. As suspected, the TDIA tracked the transfer of billions of credits from the Hark organization to the accounts of GTA pilots who have recently gone AWOL. Brian Giordino, president of Hark, was taken into custody early this morning and has been charged with high treason. Giordino continues to proclaim his innocence and accuses the TDIA of setting him up. Oh, sure they did, buddy. The Vasudan ambassador has alerted us that the Vasudan Empire has chosen a new homeworld, Mandala Prime in the Manta system. This news is troubling to the GTA because Mandala Prime was their greatest hope for successful colonization in the Outer Rim. Of the hundreds of charted worlds, None is as environmentally similar to Earth as Mandala Prime, and is obviously better suited for Terrans. The Terran Vasudan Joint Council has already begun negotiations. Oh boy! The White Flag! Good evening, pilots. As you all know, the mercenary force has a Leviathan-class cruiser, the Timberland, trapped in the Manda system. The Nepenthe has been tracking it, and it appears to be making a run for the Beetlejuice jump node. So Manda has jump nose to Beta Signi and Beetlejuice. Although we wish to capture the Timberland and interrogate the crew, we cannot display this intention. When the other Terran mercs hear about this battle, we want them to know we weren't pulling any punches just because our target is a Terran vessel. Alpha Wing will engage the fighter escort. When the fighters are clear, Beta Wing will arrive in Medusa bombers and pound on the Timberland. After the Timberland has received a substantial beating, the Nepenthe will jump in ahead of the cruiser. In the face of awesome opposition and being already crippled, we expect the Timberland will surrender if all goes well. We will not risk damaging our destroyer by taking on a healthy cruiser, so do your jobs quickly. The Nepenthe will close on the Timberland and send for a capture craft in the event of a surrender. Alpha and Beta will maintain a security perimeter for the boarding operation. Once our boarding party has captured the Timberland, we will jump back to our frontier outpost in Manda. It is for diplomatic reasons only that we are performing this unconventional capture operation. But please remember, this is a capture operation. Do not destroy the Timberland unless it is absolutely necessary. Alright. Primary objectives, eliminate the Timberland's fighter escort and neutralize the Timberland. <coughs> Secondary objectives, escort the capture cruiser until it jumps. So we are not going to fly that piece of junk. All right, and got bombs. All right, cool. Let's hit it. Okay, Alpha, clear out those fighters. Ah, the sun. Got a bogey on your tail. Unlock. Send in the bombers. Support ship being deployed.
Beta Wing has arrived. Oh man, my wingmen are dead. She's all in the follow me. Rearming complete, sir. Session mode, huh? And the pimp fired. There Timberland, we, we have accepted your concession and have reconfigured ISF. Stand by for boarding. Roger, sir. On our way. Just got myself and a pair of Medusa's to escort this thing. Capture craft has arrived. Docking with the Timberland now. were willing to suicide bomb the destiny, but you just surrendered. Cargo nothing. Shouldn't be carrying marines. Hey, am I glitching or is there another ship out here with us? Yeah, I just jumped in. I saw the jump flash. The greed of the GTA will now be punished. The pen, this is the Timberland. I did not send that transmission. I repeat, something weird is going. The Timberland's breaking up. Get to your ship and get off that thing. What the hell is going on? All fighters evacuate the area now. Damn, couldn't make it to whatever that was. Alright, so the Nepipe is actually our flagship, so I'll try one more time to land in the hangar bay.
Guess not. All right. So let's take off from the runway then. Hey Alpha, your wing managed to dispatch the Timberlands fighter compliment. Good job. The events which occurred today were both unexpected and beyond our control. Although we were successful in forcing the Timberland into submission, we ultimately lost a ship due to an apparent self-destruct. The pilots we have debriefed have all reported hearing conflicting transmissions from the cruiser. GTA Command only received one transmission, which implied that it was suicide. During the operation, communications outpost the Alexander Bell detected two strange radio transmissions. The first transmission was sent from an unidentified craft which was in the battle area with us. The second was an ELF wave which originated from Lockheed, a GTA military outpost. More details are forthcoming. Alright, ELF. Extremely low frequency if you don't know. No recommendations. Five total kills, no assists. Five Valkyries. Bring our all-time total for the campaign to 20 with two assists. So this was the White Flag, the third mission of the Destiny of Peace campaign for the Free Space Port here on Paladin Gaming. This is Paladin Gaming, signing off.